Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to my talk. Thank you for coming. Um, uh, yeah, there it is. Um, today, I'm going to talk about tomorrow's generation's perspective on WordPress. My name is Tycho de Valk. I'm 16 years old, and I still attend high school. I've um, worked at Yoast for three years as a support engineer. And besides that, this year, I started my own uh, web development agency, but let's, let's dive a little deeper into my childhood. I like to say that I grew up in WordPress, as a, I'm a WordPress kid. My parents are Joost de Falk and Marieke van der Racht, who owned the company Joost until about two years ago. Um, so all my vacations existed of me going to the Google offices and me having to walk around in Legoland with my Joost shirt on. You could say that I was tortured with WordPress. I once wanted to try out a different CMS, and my parents found out about it. <laughs> I didn't get any food for the rest of the week. That's a joke. I love my parents. Um, but one, what I want to say is, even though I grew up with WordPress, there are still some things that I don't like or that I think can be done better. So, what do people my age think of WordPress? To support this, I've done a small survey amongst my peers and people in my social circle, which I'll get back to during this presentation. In this presentation, I'll talk about three reasons why WordPress fails to appeal to young people. Firstly, being it, WordPress is not focused, WordPress marketing is not focused on young people. And Secondly, WordPress is hard to get started with. Thirdly, WordPress does not look appealing or as appealing as its competitors. So, as I just mentioned, I did a small survey amongst people my age, and um, I asked them to check the box boxes of the logos that they recognize. Two of these logos were WordPress and Shopify. Um, yeah, almost. 60% of the people uh, I surveyed were, re they recognized WordPress, which I think was quite a lot. This does not mean that they know what it is. They just recognized the logo. But now the thing that I found weird is, the exact same amount of people recognized Shopify, which is weird, right? Because we're much bigger. So they should recognize us more. So why is that? Well, as we're aware, young people don't use the same social media as old people do. WordPress's social media network is mainly on Twitter, newsletters, Facebook, I guess. I don't know. I don't have Facebook. Um, <laughs> while young people use uh, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and we know that influencers are really important. A study done by HubSpot shows that one in three Gen Zers has bought something recommended to them by an influencer in the past three months. So coming back to that question, why did the same amount of people recognize Shopify as they did WordPress? It's because Shopify does market young people. This is a screenshot from a video from Mr. Beast. If you don't know who he is, I hate to break it to you, you're old. This is one of the biggest uh, YouTubers in the world at the moment. He has over 155 million subscribers and almost 40 billion views across all of his channels. This guy is big. In this particular video, he traveled to Antarctica, where he went in the middle of nowhere. He started to climb a mountain for six hours. He got to the top, and he named it Shopify which I think is an insane marketing stunt because this mountain is now actually called Shopify. So I think we at WordPress should, should, should do something like this as well. Moving on to my second point, WordPress is hard to get started with. I, uh, sorry, this is what you see when you start a WordPress site. Welcome to WordPress, thanks. 
I can learn more about the newest version. Why would I want to do that? My site health status. Is it sick already? What happened? Uh, I can create a quick draft. Why would I want to do that? And I can attend an event. Yeah, I'd never do that. Uh, <laughs> so it's not clear what to do. It's chaotic. While our competitors, they do have a clear startup path. If we take a look at Shopify, for example, you don't, this is not even the first thing that you see, this screenshot. You first see, you first get some questions about the kind of site you run. And based on that, you get this setup guide. Shopify will help you set up your site. They'll help you add your first product. They'll help you customize your online store. They'll help you personalize your own store. The same goes for Wix. They do the same thing. You get uh, some steps, and it'll help you customize your store. If I wasn't forced to work with WordPress, I would have quit right here. Because, well, yeah, it's not clear how to get started. You'd rather have something like Shopify or Wix. And this correlates with my third point. WordPress is not that flashy. It doesn't look as appealing as its competitors. It's older, you could say. So, as I mentioned before, I did a small survey amongst my peers, and I also showed them three uh, screenshots of different interfaces. One of Shopify, one of Wix, and one of WordPress. And as I expected, 75% of people liked the Wix or Shopify interface better than WordPress. But how could we fix this, right? Because we want to, and we should. Well, recently WooCommerce released WooExpress, which I think is a great solution for this. It looks cleaner, it looks, it's, a not, it's a lot nicer to work with, I feel like, and it helps you set up your site, so it solves the setup guide issue as well. But that's only for WooCommerce, right? So how would we solve this for the entirety of WordPress? Extendify is a good solution for that. Extendify helps users onboard their WordPress site. Extendify sells to hosts. I think they're here at the conference right now, so go ahead and talk to them. Um, but they make it easier to get started with your WordPress site, which is something we should look into. So now what? I've mentioned a couple of solutions already, but let's, let's get them straight once again. We should start with social media that is focused on young people. Social media like TikTok, Facebook, no, not Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube, and we should collaborate with influencers to promote the WordPress brand. Then we should make WordPress easier to work with, with solutions like WooExpress and Extendify, which will make it more appealing to a young audience. But we can make it more appealing, but we also have to get the brand known, because apparently the same amount of people know Shopify, so we should fix that as well. And to do that, we shouldn't keep promoting our own brands. We should all collaborate and promote WordPress together. A good example of this was a couple of weeks ago when WordPress turned 20 years old. Yeah, I know, big, four years older than me. Um, and we. All the big brands celebrated WordPress. They didn't celebrate themselves, they celebrated WordPress. And this is one of the big advantages that Shopify and Wix have over us. They are one brand, they are one company, they make all the money, which means they can spend whatever they want on advertising. Well, we, we can't do that. So we have to collaborate and do the marketing together which means we all have to become the WordPress marketing team. And we might end up with a mountain called WordPress as well. 